hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. Let's see if we can pull off some crazy pendulum summons. It just kind of depends on us drawing just a ton of pendulum monsters. Oh, we're playing as Yudo this time. We're playing against Silvio, and we're going to go second so we can draw and attack first. Uh, Silvio Sawatari. I don't know who these characters are, you know, it'd be cool if we could uh, actually get... I have no Pendulum Monsters in the Abyss Soldier. I know what that card does. Do I have a card in my hand called Quantity Cat? Quantum Cat, that's even better! That picture! Uh, by declaring one monster type and one attribute, special summon this card as a normal monster with that type and attribute. Okay. Quantum Cat it is. We have an extra deck this time. Oh, we're using uh, XYZ monsters here. Sure, Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. You can ta detach two Exceed monsters from this card, then target one face-up card. Your opponent's control is half becomes half, and this card gains that lost attack. That does not say until end of turn. Well, let's do that, shall we? What's the rest of the stuff? Mathematician. Uh, you can send one level for a lower monster from your deck to the graveyard. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can draw a card. Why do I care? Uh, if this card is summoned, you can target one Teller Knight monster from your graveyard, except S Sada Teller Knight. I'll, uh, the, it's it, its own name. Uh, special summon in defense position. Also, monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn. Uh huh. This card cannot be normal summoned. When you normal summon a level 4 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Cannot be used as synchro material. And uh, Goblinburg, we know what that does from the uh, Zaxel saga. So let's see what else we got in here. Uh, Sada Teller Knight Deneb. Yeah, a Sada Teller. Okay, well that's that's cool. We've got Vega. Uh, you can special summon from your hand. Okay, well these uh, Sada Sadler. It, it's like a play on satellite. Oh. What does this one do? If this card is summoned, you can inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Hmm. I like that one. Oh, it's Beetlejuice! 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 Not okay. I want to show the details for this thing. I can target one... Teller Knight. A Teller Knight, not a Sateller Knight. Oh my gosh, the archetypes that they they have come up with are just off the wall silly. Well, it seems like everything is going to revolve around this uh, Alsom, so we're going to do this. We are going to... Yeah, we'll just normal summon this thing. And we will activate this as well, because we can special summon that. Ta-da! We're just going to see how many times we can summon, uh, summon that thing in this game to deal that thousand points of damage. And it counts any kind of summon. Normal summon, special summon, yeah, it's, it's going to get silly. Uh, meanwhile, let's play this Dark Rebellion Dragon. Uh, why not? We'll use its effect. Got nothing better to do. 
And let's see if this goes horribly wrong. It did not go horribly wrong. And we should get to keep that attack boost. It, yeah, we still have that attack power. Um, I don't want to activate my cat trap yet. Now this is a problem. Because Abyss Soldier can discard a card to, you know, return that back to my hand, which means it goes back to the extra deck. So, yeah, Abyss Soldier kind of doing some work. Now there's Abyss Warrior. Once per turn, you can discard one water monster, target one monster in either player's graveyard. Turn that target to either the top or bottom of the deck. That's also annoying. Go ahead, attack me. Ha ha ha. You've activated my trap card. Quantum Cat. Um, this cat is going to... It can be divine. It's a divine cat. <laughs> it's going to be a divine... Worm? Is that... Did they add another new type of monster? Uh, it's going to be a divine insect cat. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Oh, hey, we got a trap card. Just what I needed. Uh, Stellar Nova Wave. That sounds cool. Once per turn during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, you can special summon one Tellerite monster from your hand. Okay. Uh, well, we have to deal with some stuff here. So let's deal with some stuff. I will bring this thing back, deal another thousand points of damage. Yep. Because that's not ridiculous at all. Uh, let's combine our cat and... Can I combine... Well, because that can't actually... Actually, yes, we can. We can kill everything this turn. Let's kill everything. And uh, then one thing's going to go to the graveyard, and then we're going to find another way to bring it back. Ah, <laughs> oh, this, uh, who are we playing as? Yuto. Yuto's deck is kind of ridiculous, although it's not really based around pendulum monsters. I'm okay with that. Uh, cut that attack. Thank you. And now we'll go attacking. So there's some damage. Um, is there a particular reason I can't attack with this? Uh, also, monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of the turn except Teller Knight monsters. Ew. Reading the cards is occasionally helpful. Oh well, we still got rid of the Abyss Soldier, which was the main threat to our uh, stuff. I don't need to be special summoning Teller Knights for my hand. I don't even have Teller Knights in my hand. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's really not, but okay, that's not fine. That, yeah, we gotta do something about that. Oh, just what we need, another quantum cat. That's perfect. Um, I guess math We'll see what you can do. Send one level four or lower monster. You know. Uh that's car summon. You can this card is something you can special summon one Teller Knight from your hand. I don't want to special summon from my hand. That one lets me summon from my graveyard, which is kind of what I want to be doing. 
This card is summoned, you can add one Tellerite monster, okay. I don't know why I need to put any of this in my graveyard. Yeah, because all that stuff just wants to be summoned. I'll get rid of one of these. Uh, activate the effect of a card. What can I activate? Fine. Stellar Nova Wave. Be happy. Uh, I guess this is going to become waiting out the swords. So I'm going to have a way of dealing with spells and traps right now. Yay, we get to draw a card. Yeah, another quantum cat. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, you can never have too many quantum cats, right? Bottom of the deck. You put my Mathematician on the bottom of the deck, right? Not my let's deal a thousand damage to you. Oh, hey. Uh, that's the whole let's... <laughs> let's deal another thousand damage card. Yay! <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, so, uh... Seteller Knight Alsam. And why not, why don't we summon another Dark Rebellion Dragon? We got nothing better to do. Uh, although I am not going to use its effect yet because I don't want my opponent to uh, put that thing on the bottom of my deck with the uh, Abyss Warrior there. What is it with all these story mode decks that have Swords of Revealing Light in them? I find that really odd. Like, we don't know what else to do, so let's just... Oh, this is great. Oh, look, I summoned it. <laughs> You're just gonna die from that thing. That one can go to the graveyard. It's fine. Hey look, the swords are gone. That's fine too. But that's not fine. Seriously? That card is supposed to be restricted to one. Actually, maybe it's not restricted anymore. I don't know. It's it's stupid. Oh great, just what I wanted. Another uh Another uh, Stellar Nova Alpha. Wait, this is Alpha. This is not Stellar Nova Wave. Okay. Uh, what's this thing do? So then you control the graveyard, negate the activation, you can do destroy that card, then draw one card. Okay. Then again, I can't really do anything about it. Now we're going to wait three more turns, or until I draw a way that lets me summon another uh, Alsam. Uh, this is... That could be an issue. Now oh, that could be an issue. Um, I can't stop that. And that's still an oval wave. I want a special summon from the graveyard. Uh, I guess we'll just end the turn. Because there is nothing we can do, because our opponent just keeps playing Swords Revealing Light. Oh, well, bye. We'll make it again. Oh hey, it's uh, it's 
not all Psalm, it's uh, Deneb. Uh, you can add one Teller Knight monster from your deck to your hand. Well, you heard it. <laughs> oh boy. Gee, I wonder which one I'm going to get. Uh, let's get another all -Som. <laughs> Activate the effect of a card. What could I activate? Oh, I can activate this. Once per turn during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, I can um, special summon. And you're dead. I mean, yeah, I could have waited and done that on my opponent's uh, battle phase and and killed them on their turn, which that's kind of amusing. Oh, we got a few signature cards awarded. Was Mobius the Mega Monarch. Well, that's something new. Okay, so next time I guess uh, we'll be playing as Yuya again versus Dipper. But is he the Big Dipper or the Little Dipper?